Hello everybody. In this video, I would like to talk about the basic operations of the gumball. Okay, let's start. So, what is the gumball? The gumball is uh, basically the displayed by clicking on this uh, label over here. So, let's say if I select this object and I want the gumball to be displayed, I can click on it and you'll be able to see these uh, widgets over here. Okay. Let me uh, show you this diagram to indicate the detailed breakdown of the components within a gumball. Okay, the arrows in a gumball are used to move the object in the direction as indicated by the arrows uh, axis. Okay, so let's say if I click on the this part, I will be moving along uh, this direction. Okay, and the rotation is uh, denoted by, by this kind of uh, arcs over here and again the angle of the arc is uh, indicative of the direction of the rotation in a similar fashion the square at the corner uh, are used to do uh, scaling okay and its uh, direction is again uh, depending on where it's being located okay so let me give you a demo of how they work okay so let's say i want to move uh, this uh, box in this direction i can click and drag it along this direction okay in a similar flash fashion if i want it to move up i can click and drag okay okay now i want to talk about the, the the arc here okay this arc here is do is to do rotation so if i were to like no drag this i'm able to do a rotation okay and in a similar fashion uh, if i drag in this direction it will rotate along this direction okay and likewise if i click on the square i'll be able to scale along this direction okay so far, I've been transforming the object in a non-accurate manner. What if you want to do transformation with a precise numerical input? Okay, to do that, you do not uh, click and drag. Instead, you just click and wait for a numerical input prompt to appear. Okay, for example, let's say I want to move this object. 10 units I can click and not drag okay click on the arrow and maybe cut the value let's say I need it to go up 5 units I cut 5 enter and you go up okay 5 5 units above and in the same way if I want it to go down I can click on this and give it a negative value okay yep okay in a similar fashion if I want to do a rotation I can click on the arc and then specify the direction the angle sorry so let's say uh, I want it to move let's say 60 degree in the direction of the arrow so type 60 enter yeah it will actually move 60 degrees in the direction of the arrow okay okay for the arc um, you can also use the toggle auto to allow the rotation to be in angles of 90 degree for example if I press and hold the shift key okay uh, no you do a slight rotation first and then press and hold the shift key you notice that you'll be able to rotate like what I'm doing now the object in increments of uh, 90 degrees okay yeah okay now let's talk about the scaling okay so let's say I click on this and then I want to scale. Okay, <clears throat> bear in mind that the scaling is not a plus value, is a fac factor. So let's say if I want to scale uh, twice along this uh, direction, I can type 2 and the object will be scaled twice along this direction. And in a similar fashion, if I want it to be half of this uh, length, I can click on this and type uh, 0.5 okay and it will be half of that that length okay 
yeah so uh, these are the basic uh, function of the gumball but the gumball can go beyond that okay for example you can use it to duplicate object okay to duplicate an object you can press and hold the alt key and click on the arrow and then uh, release okay you see that you'll be able to make a duplicate of the object okay and to a certain degree, the gumball can be used to assemble uh, your objects as well. Okay, let me uh, show you a demonstration. Okay, by default, the gumball will be placed at the center of the object. And if you want to move the center pivot of it, what you need to do is to press and hold the control key. Okay, press and hold the control key, click on the white, white dot, then uh, release the control key. And you will be able to free the the center pivot of the gumball. Uh, and if you use it in tandem with the object snap, okay. Let's say I'm using intercept snap, I'm able to place it to specific locations. Let's say you see I'm using intersect, so I can actually place it at a corner. Let's say here, okay. And with that, I can know do assembling work okay let's say let me just turn on this uh, object snap and i want actually this corner to let's say snap to here i can turn on the object snap and okay and then click on the dot not on any of the arrows because if you click on arrows you will not be able to uh, execute a snap okay so click on the white dot and move it to the place of your snap okay can you see I want it to be snapped here. Yeah, yeah. So in this way, I'm able to like use the gumball for assembling purposes, so to speak. Okay. And once the operation is done, you can reset the gumball to its original position by clicking on this uh, white circle here. Not not this dot. This white circle. Click on this and select reset gumball, and you can see that the gumball goes to its original position. Okay. As you can see, the gumball is are pretty powerful. Okay, there's more to the gumball. Okay, let me just show you uh, some other gumball mag magic. Okay, in fact, the gumball can be used to do basic modeling as well. Okay, which I will be showing you now. Okay, let's say I want to model like a closed curve. Okay, I have a closed curve over here and I can click on this and I can use the gumball to do an extrusion. Okay, bear in mind, if I were to use the gumball to extrude a curve, what I'll get is a surface. Okay, if I use the gumball to extrude a flat planar surface, what I'll get is a solid or poly surface object. Okay, so uh, let me show you a demonstration now. Okay, let's say now I have this curve. And I want to extrude up. So the extrusion function is actually this uh, dot on the center part of the arrow. So I can click on this dot and drag. And you can see what I got is like a extruded surface generated from the curve. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now uh, I want to create a piece of surface planar surface from, from this curve so I'm going to like um, use the this one surface from planar curve okay so now I will not be selecting the, the the curve instead I will be selecting let me delete this the surface okay so I'm selecting the surface so notice <clears throat> if I select a flat surface this flat surface and I want to extrude it I can click on the dot and extrude okay what I'll get is actually a closed poly surface or a solid okay in fact if you select this you go to analyze mass property volume yeah I can see there's a volume there okay so uh, let me reiterate if you use the gumball to extrude a curve you get a surface if you use the gumball to extrude a surface you will get a closed poly surface or solid okay
Okay, um, there's one more last trick that I want to show um, about the gumball. Okay, and this uh, trick also pertains to mock modeling as well. Okay, let's say I want to do a revolve. Okay. Uh, revolve. Okay, select curve to revolve. Okay. I want to set it to deformable. Okay. Okay. Now I have created a revolve surface and it's set to deformable. If I were to turn on the control points, I will be able to manipulate its shape using the gumball. Okay, so let's say I want to create like a saw, like a sofa or this thing. I can select this and this and I can pull up, okay, to manipulate its shape. And I can even like do a right mouse click over here and realign the gumball's uh, direction by align to object. Okay, now it's not so obvious. So let's say if I, I want to select a... Uh, uh, few more faces let's say select this and this uh, okay let's say let me select this one okay and i can use okay see align to c plane will be in this direction if i go to align to object the direction will be realigned to more or less are uh, following the the, the 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 direction of of the the points okay yep If you were to like select a single of a uh, single point, you will notice that if the alignment is aligned to object, the blue arrow is pointing towards the the normal of the surface. Okay, so uh, with that in mind, the alignment of to C plane object and to world, uh, you are able to further refine how you can tweak the control points or uh, position using the gumball. Okay, I think I've come to the end of this um, video. Hope that's been useful to you. See you around. Bye.